Whatever you do, don't turn off the lights. That's what someone wrote in red sharpie on the bottom of the neatly typed set of instructions the day shift had left for me. Probably just someone trying to fuck with the new guy. Work in security at a morgue must get pretty boring, and I imagine the corpses are pretty hard to get a rise out of. What with the whole being dead thing working against them. Now, I don't know what you know about working security, but when you're the graveyard shift, it's usually expected that you're going to fall asleep at some point. Is it encouraged? Not exactly, but it's one of those unspoken understandings that most in the business accept as inevitable. It was around three in the morning when I drifted off that night, but I didn't visit Dreamland long before I awoke to a moaning sound that echoed down the hall from the security office. My blood froze as I got up and started to move towards the sound. It was coming from the embalming room. As I mentioned, I was new to this job, so what I didn't know at the time was that the corpses have a tendency to release gases a good while after the complete and irreversible cessation of life function. In short, a corpse will sometimes fart, belch or even sigh in the process of releasing any excess gas left over in the body. So I did my job, terrified as I was, and searched the embalming room for anyone who might have been lurking about trying to get their jollies off with the recently deceased fella on the table. I wish that in my terror I'd had the presence of mind to remember the warning the day shift had left for me in red sharpie. I heard another moan down the hall in the autopsy room and without thinking I moved to the light switch and flicked off the white fluorescent tubes that had been happily humming above me. I leaned against the wall so that I could see out of the small window in the door of the embalming room and just barely see the door to the autopsy room across the hall. I figured if someone was in there, I could see them before they saw me. My job is only to observe and report. 15 bucks an hour is no wage to put your life on the line for. I stood there for a few minutes, wondering what the hell was going on, terrified that I might be bound for a confrontation with a necrophile, and thinking maybe it's time to find a new line of work. That's when I saw something move out of the corner of my eye, not across the hall in the autopsy room, but in the embalming room with me. The stiff on the table was moving. First his head rolled to one side, and then his right hand reached up towards the wall where I was standing. The lights in the hall flickered and went out, followed by every other room I could see. In the pitch black, I heard that same moan that woke me up only a few moments ago. I reached down and grabbed my flashlight from my belt and clicked it on, pointing the beam in the direction of the stiff on the table, only to discover that the table was empty. My hair stood on end and my skin was making a desperate attempt at crawling right off of my flesh as I anxiously scanned the room, fumbling blindly for the light switch with my three hand. I felt my groping fingers connect with something hard and clammy, like stones freshly pulled out of a mountain stream, and I swung the flashlight around to see what it was. I screamed when I saw the face of the stiff a few feet from my own, and I threw myself backwards, crashing to the floor. I covered my face, anticipating some kind of attack, as I swung my flashlight wildly in front of me and pushed myself backwards until I was up against the adjacent wall. The embalming room was alight in an instant, and after a few more seconds of flailing and screaming, I mustered the courage to look around the room again. The stiff was back on the embalming table, as if he'd never moved to begin with. I got to my feet and gave the corpse a good strong poke with my flashlight to make sure it wasn't some kind of prank. I collected myself and went back to the security office, wondering if I was crazy. When I sat down in my chair, I happened to see the instructions that the day shift had left for me. 
Whatever you do, don't turn off the lights. Huh.